Welcome back. We are busy with a worksheet that can be found on www.eclassroom.co.za's website. Um, but it is also part of this week's handout. So let's quickly have a look at the question. All right, question five. We did question one, two, and day one, three, four, and day two. And now we on question five. Jack and Jill are best friends and their birthdays are one day apart, so they decide to host their 18th birthday party together. They get two quotes for the catering for the party and they want to compare the quotes to decide which option is more cost effective. Option 1 is 135 Rand per head for catering, which includes the cost of the venue but excludes that. Option 2 is 6,000 6, Rand for the hire of the venue and 90 rand per head of catering which includes that. Calculate the total cost of each option, option assuming that they invite 120 guests to the party. Based on your calculation, which catering option should Jack and Jill choose? Alright, so first of all, um, on 135 times 120 is for the first option and then that you first have to times by 114 percent so let's look at the answer okay so option is 135 times 120 look here don't look at the rest of the answer which is equal to 16,200 rand and then you have to times by 114 percent remember if you just say plus 14 percent on your calculator you often will get the wrong answer so it's 16,200 times 114 percent which gives you 18,468 rand the second the second option is 6,000 rand plus 90 rand times 120 Okay, so it's 90 times 120, which gives you 10,800 Rand. And if you add 6,000 to that, you get 16,800. So which is the better option? Remember, you first have to answer the question before you can carry on. And the question was, which of the two, based on your calculation, is the best option? And Jack and Jill should choose option two for catering because it is almost 2,000 Rand less expensive. Well, uh, around 1,800 rand less expensive, 1,400 sorry, than than option one. Okay, question question B. Jack and Jewel chooses option choose option two, and they then they decide to invite another 40 people to their party. The catering company has said that they will offer a 15% discount on the total cost of the party if the total exceeds 18,500. Do they qualify the discount? If so, what is the total amount that they pay for the party? Remember, if you invite 40 more people than 120, it is equal to 160 people. So you will have to take the 6,000 Rand plus 90 times 160. So let's look at the calculation. It's 1,800 Rand. All right. And, and you can just say plus 40 times 90. And that equals to 20,400 Rand. So they qualify for the discount. So you have to calculate what 15% of 20,800 is. And that is 3,060 Rand. Then you have to subtract that 3,060 Rand from 20,400, and that gives us 17,340. Now, you, what you, uh, they can say is there still a better option than option one. Do you see that if they invite 40 more people because they qualify for a discount, this is even less than what they would have paid for 120 people at option one. So this is truly the best, the best option. All right, let's quickly go to question six. There's six's memo. And that's six's aunt's, uh, question. Godfrey began a new job at BNG Attorneys on 1 January 20, 2010. He earned a net income of 165,000 Rand per annum. This means per year. He decides to set aside 12,000 Rand per month for monthly expenses and then save 70 then he save 75 percent of what remains from his salary so that he could buy a car use the information that 
was uh, has been given to answer the questions below right so it's rent and water and electricity groceries insurance phone public transport clothing entertainment and other so in the end he has to sp he spends 11130 calculate godfrey's net monthly income right so you would take the 165000 divide by 12 and that gives him 13,750 rand. Um, calculate um, how much Godfrey saves per month. So you would take the 13,750, subtract the 12,000 rand, and that's 1,750 rand. 75% of that he will save, and that is 1,750 times 75% gives us 1,312 Rand 50 cents. Okay, question C. After months, six months, Godfrey decides to invest the money he has saved for the car, and the bank offers him 9,45% interest per annum on his m uh, money for two years. Calculate the future value of this investment using the following formula. Where PV is the amount he invests, I is the interest rate divided by 100 and N is the number of years. Okay, so you would take you would take the 1,000 uh, where is it? 1,320 rand and times it by 6. So this is the amount of money he wants to invest. So you take 7,875 rand times it by 1 plus 0, 0, 0,0094 and then square that. Remember on your calculator you can either press the square button or you can say um, times 1 comma 0, 94 times 1,094 and then you will get the future value of 9,425 cents and 8 cents. Okay, sorry. Um, on your calculator you can 1 plus 0, 0,094 is equal to 1, 0, 94. So you can say 7875 times 1, 0, 0,094 times 1, 0, 0,094 and that's the same as squared. Remember from grade 10 if we do it on a calculator and we don't have a squared button. So that equals to 9425 rand and 8 cents. Okay, the next question. Um, Godfrey gets a 9,2% increase on, on his salary on the 1st of January 2011. Calculate his new net salary. Remember, he used to earn 1, 165,000 Rand per year. Um, so you can either say 165 times 9,2%, remember, times 109,2% gives us 180,000. 180 rand um, but uh, uh, remember you can't just with a lot of calculators plus 9,2 percent it will not give you the correct answer it will give you um, 1,600 uh, well, 165,000 and, and 9,9 cents so please be careful you have to times by 109,2 percent if you take that divided by 12, you get 15,015 Rand as his new salary, or you can just multiply his monthly salary, which was 13,750, with an 109,2%. Right, and then they ask, um, he works out that, that he needs to spend 850 Rand on fuel, 600 Rand on insurance, and 400 Rand on maintenance each month, as well as spending 2,100 on car repayments. Calculate his new total monthly expenses. So he's now bought the car. Right, so he's, um, it's 11,130. He doesn't pay for transport anymore. Um, plus 850, plus 600, plus 400, plus 2,100, and that gives him 14,480. 
And then the last question. Gartry decides to save all the money he has left over after expenses. Calculate how much he is able to save each month. So with his new salary, which is 15,015 Rand, subtract 14,480, which was the new amount after he's bought the car, and he can still save 535 Rand per month. So it just shows you if you have a budget, and if you, if you plan well in, uh, ahead, and if you save money, you can end up still saving a part of your monthly salary. And the last question, seven. Sophia wants to buy a new car and is offered a very low monthly repayment at the bank. She discovers she, the reason for this is that they have to included a, res, a residual or a balloon payment of 35%. Answer the question that follows. What is a residual or a balloon payment? Right, let's quickly look at the memo and then, then we can discuss it. Discuss it. A residual is a repayment that is made at the end of a loan in a lump sum. Okay, so this means that if you buy your car with a residual, um, at the end after you have paid off your car, um, you still owe some money, and then you can either give the car back. So it's basically as if you've rented the car, or you can in the meantime start saving an amount and just repay the lump sum in the end. Uh, your monthly repayments is less, and sometimes you can save money on this side. So let's quickly look at the options. Calculate the residual amount if Sophia's car cost is 227,500 rand. Okay, so... Um, 227,000 uh, two Rand times 35% is a residual of 79,625 Rand. Okay, question C. The bank offers a fee rate of 8% per year over 60 months with a 35% residual on the car. Calculate the total amount she will end up paying for a car. Assume she will not have to refinance the residual. Right, so you take the 227 and 35 Rand and you subtract the residual, which gives you 149 Rand, well, 40,875 Rand. Right, that you will have to um, invest for at 0.085%, so it's 1 plus 0.085 to the power of 5, and that gives you 222,353 rand 23 cents, and then you still need to add the residual. So that she ends up paying 301 rand 9, 301,978 Rand to 23 cents for the car. Okay, calculate the monthly repayment that Sophia will make t on a new car. So you take the, uh, the this 222353 and 23 cents and divide it by 60, and she then pays 3,705 Rand and 89 cents per month for 60 months. Question E. If Sophia's car depreciates at a rate of 21% per year, calculate the value of her car um, after 60 months. All right, so 60 months is 60 divided by 12 is 5. So you take 227,500 times by 21%, and then you subtract that from 227,500, which gives you 179,725. Remember, you can also say 227,500 times by 79%, but don't just put into your calculator minus 21%. You might get the incorrect answer. Try with your calculator and see what the, your answer is. Okay, then in the second year, you start with 179 Rand, 725 times 79%. The 79 I got 100 minus 21 is 79 is 141,982 rand 75 cents. You take that amount times by 79% and it gives you 112,166 and 35 cents. 
In year 4, you start with 112166.35 and 35 cents. You times by 79% and you get 88611.43 and 43 cents. And if you take that and times it by 79%, you get 70,003 rand and 3 cents. So the value of the car is 70,003 rand and 3 cents after 6 months. Will Sophia be able to completely pay off a balloon payment by trading in her car? So if she gives a car to the uh, dealership, will she pay off a car? And the answer is no. She will not be able to pay off the residual completely by trading in a car. Uh, why not? Because the residual is um, 79625 and a car is only valued just more than 75 thousand rand so she still needs nine thousand six hundred and twenty two rand to pay off her car in full so my suggestion is that if Sophia or anybody buys a car with a residual value at the end you also need to start saving a little bit of money on the, on the side uh, thank you very much I hope um, you do well in this week's test good luck